going on everyone? Sam here with Latest Sports Cards. Welcome back. It's no method all madness. It's kind of scary how back we are to be honest as well. Very excited to be back showing you some cards that I grabbed. Um, I'm over at the PWCC now. That is uh, the main auction house that I've been buying my cards off of. Very excited to show you what I have here. Gonna start off with a couple of purchases from Whatnot actually. A couple of just one-off one random card purchases. Uh, first one is going to be a 20, I think it's 23 Leaf Metal Draft Press Proof 1 of 1 of Jahan Dotson of the Washington Commanders. I'm a big Dotson fan. I think now that Jaden Daniels being there is going to help out his stock a lot and uh, been a fan of him since Penn State, so very excited to have that one in. Probably is going to stay in the collection for a little bit. And actually off the same guy, different shows, the same guy, is going to be a 2022 Penny Prism White Sparkle of Jarvis Landry. Juice, The Jungle. I always liked Jarvis Landry too, one of uh, Odell Beckham Jr.'s teammate at LSU during like the 2013 season or so. Uh, had a couple of good seasons in Miami, bunch of receptions, same thing in Cleveland, then in New Orleans for a little bit, so always been a little bit of a fan of Jarvis Landry as well. Not in Cleveland, but. Uh, now we're on to PWCC stuff. Uh, I think I got five cards, five or six cards from PWCC last week, so finally in, finally ready to show them off. This is going to be exciting. Uh, we will start off with this one. This is going to be a 2014 Bowman Chrome uh, Refractor 2 500. It's going to be Michael Taylor. That is going to be a BGS 9.5. Really awesome card. He had a pretty decent career, actually. Kind of jumped around the league. Kansas City, I remember him there. Uh, a few other places as well, but fun to have that one. It's an older Bowman Chrome as well, 2014. So definitely excited to have that one. Uh, next up, this one I freaking love, man. This is going to be a 2010 PSA 9 Purple Joe Hayden rookie. One of my favorite Florida Gators of all time, if not my favorite Florida Gator of all time. I was always a huge fan of him. I hate that he played in Pittsburgh and he hate that he played in uh, Cleveland as well, but uh, excited to have that one in the collection. 2010 was one of the first years I started seriously collecting football as well, so I have a lot of really good memories of that product. and. Uh, Purple, they were still numbered in those as well, at least a little bit higher than they are now. So very excited to have this one in. And this one is really cool. I had to get this one just because it's kind of funny. 2020-21 uh, uh, Panini National Treasures Game Used Pass Shot of Aaron Aflalo to 25. Um, actually, funny enough, there's a uh, Kendrick Lamar song where he says the opening line of one of his verses is, I used to be jealous of Aaron Aflalo. I wanted to grow up and be like Aaron Aflalo. And I remember hearing that lyric and I was like, that's like the most random guy of all time to say that you wanted to grow up as. So I did a little bit of research on it. I went to Genius Lyrics. I did a little bit of research on where Aaron Aflalo is from. Him and Kendrick Lamar actually went to the same high school at the same time. I did not know that. I thought that was kind of super interesting. Kendrick Lamar said he kind of always kept to himself. They weren't super great friends in high school, but they knew of each other. And uh, I know that uh, Ken, uh, Aaron Aflalo brought Kendrick Lamar to a couple of games when I forget where Aflalo, maybe in Orlando or when he was out west. But uh, but yeah, both grew up there. Obviously, Aflalo went to UCLA after high school and carved out a pretty decent career for himself. But I just thought that was kind of funny when I heard that song. I was shocked when he said I wanted to be like Aaron Aflalo, but it makes sense. All right, and second package here. We got uh, three more cards. Nice. I didn't realize it was three. I thought it was only two more. Um, we'll start off with this one. Not really much to say about this. Um, 2018 Panini Prism PSA 9 Sam Darnold. Uh, really only bought that for like anticipation of the first couple weeks of the season. I would imagine he is going to be the opening day starter or the week one starter for uh, the Minnesota Vikings this year. So he comes out, maybe throws 400 yards and a couple of touchdowns, throw it on eBay, and uh, people aren't going to be, I would say, very, they'd be a little bit more hesitant to buy the super high-end Sam Darnold stuff off of week one. They'll probably stick to the PSA 9 prisms like myself, so I don't know. We'll see about that. Low risk, low-ish to mid-reward, I would say. Uh, next up is going to be 21 um, Bowman Chrome PSA 10 Refractor to 499 of Johnny Perone for the Tampa Bay Rays. He is, that's a pop one. That's kind of what I went after that one for. Um, again, don't know a ton about Johnny Perone. I know he signed in 23 Bowman was the first time he signed, but I didn't realize his first was in 21 Bowman Chrome. So decided to grab that one. I like, I like buying random prospects. It wasn't that expensive either. So went with that. And then this is my favorite card I think I picked up this week. This is a super nostalgia card for me. Uh, 2011 PSA 9 Ball at Chest Julio Jones rookie. 
And a lot of you don't remember Julio Jones' rookie year was rocking the Dreads, which I think was really cool. A lot of people don't remember Dreads Julio Jones, but I think we could all agree he was a problem in his prime. Coming out of uh, Alabama and uh, drafted the Falcons, played most of his career there, obviously had a couple stops in um, Tennessee, uh, I want to say Tampa Bay, and Philadelphia this past season. So I've always really liked Julio Jones. He's kind of my generation's, uh, you know, Randy Moss or Jerry Rice. I think when you think of the best receivers of certain generations, I, I think for the 2010s, Julio Jones is one of the first that comes to mind. So I was always really excited uh, watching him play. I always wanted him to be a Raven, unfortunately. Never was, but you know, I've not kind of gotten over it. I haven't really gotten over it quite yet. But, um, but yeah, I thought it was really cool. That's gonna stay in my collection just as like a piece. Uh, 2011 is my favorite year of Topps football. Love that year of Topps football. Uh, was really the first year that it kickstarted me into seriously, seriously collecting was 2011 football. So very happy to have that one and a relatively highly graded copy as well. So very excited. That uh, is everything for this week. Picked up a bunch of really nice cards for this upcoming week. I know you guys are going to be really excited. There are some really fun names in there. A couple Hall of Famers, a couple of just random guys that I know a lot of our, our viewers like to see. So very excited for those to come in. But that is going to do it for this week. No Method All Madness. I'm super Super psyched to be back and doing these videos again. Hope you guys enjoyed as always, and uh, we'll see you next week.